Hi, my name is Enes. I am from Never Stop Trucking channel and uh, in this video I'll be giving you a tour of this simple spreadsheet that I built on uh, Google Spreadsheets that I use to track my trucks. I call it a load board and um, it's uh, meant for a smaller company and it will do the job and then I'll tell you why I like it and then also you can download it yourself for free and then you can use it uh, for your own use and you can change everything and then I'll show you how to do everything right now. So in order to uh, download this spreadsheet you only need a Gmail account and then you get the Google Drive account with that, a free Google Drive account and most people uh, have a Google Drive account. If not, you can just go, uh, just Google uh, Google Drive and then it will come up. And uh, the way you do it, you just uh, click on the link that I'll be providing in the description of this video, below the video, and you will go to this uh, address that will show you right here, this area. And what you do is uh, you go to File, and then make a copy and then you will copy it in your drive and then it will be available in your drive and then anytime you go to this address uh, for this uh, load board it this will come up and it will stay and uh, it's not gonna go away so make sure you bookmark the address or you can also go to Google Spreadsheets and your account will automatically come up that's associated with your Gmail address. So you just click OK and it will save it right there. But I'm going to hit cancel because I already have it. So once you have it there, you can click here and then you can just uh, change it to whatever you want. And then it will stay like that. So anything here gets automatically saved. And uh, no one can see, once you make a copy, sa uh, save it to your drive, no one else can see that. So it's your private um, spreadsheet. You can share it here and we'll talk about that later. But for now, I'm just going to give you a tour about this and the concept. Uh, and this helps me a lot. So one good thing about this is that you can share it with anyone. Uh, if you have dispatchers or anyone else working for you and that has to uh, see the current situation with your trucks, then you can share it with them. And what you do is you just click on share and then you send them a link, copy a link, and then um, you can also change settings here and you can assign roles so everyone will be able to change it um, and uh, as soon as they change it on their end then uh, those changes will automatically take place for everyone so if you have five people using this load board whoever changes anything here uh, it will automatically change everywhere okay so what i do is here i uh, Put my uh, truck numbers here, my driver's names, trailer numbers, last four of the wins because sometimes brokers will ask for that, and their phone numbers. And then um, I have all these days of the week here, and then also I have um, Monday, that's for next week. So this is always current weeks, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then here go the prices of loads so let's say you have someone in um, chicago this monday that you have to cover and what i do here but you can change all these colors uh, what i do is uh, i use orange if that truck needs um, a load so let's say i have someone is in chicago they're ready to go and you just click on the field and then uh, use the bucket here and then fill it with any color you want. So this here tells everyone in our company that's working on loads that this guy in truck 101 named John Doe needs a load from Chicago. 
and I'm gonna delete these prices here, the rates. So what you can do is you just, you can click on it once. So remember, this is really important when you use these and I'll, I'll explain this too. So click once and then you can uh, hit the delete button or backspace or you can select all and then just click delete. If you right click on it, uh, it will give you more options. Uh, I wouldn't even mess with that unless you know what you're doing. So what you do is just click here and on your keyboard just hit delete or backspace. Okay, now if you double click on these, these all have formulas. So notice how it says here at the end of the week, zero, zero. And then here, this is the total. See, I double clicked on it and it came, all those formulas came up. So if you accidentally click on it, don't do anything else, just press enter, okay? And that formula will be preserved. So, and that's the case with any of these or here, here, or here. So let's see, let, let me show you. If I double click, the formula comes up. And then if you click on something, you delete it, it will mess up the formula. So don't do it unless you know what you're doing. Don't click double click any, at all. So if you do double click, press enter, okay? And it will come back. So let's say uh, we have this guy in Chicago. We have another guy that's ready on Tuesday in uh, uh, Los Angeles. You can just do LA or whatever is easier for you. And then we're gonna mark, mark him. Um, orange and then truck 103 is in uh, Chicago as well but he's in shop and we don't know if he's gonna go out so we're gonna use the color that I use uh, for uh, the shop or uh, whoever is on hold so this tells everyone that this guy in Chicago is on hold. He's probably going to be ready soon. Don't look for anything yet, but uh, just be aware that he might be able soon. And then uh, sometimes I have drivers that are looking for themselves, and then I'll just mark them here. And um, uh, Or if you have this guy in Chicago and he wants to go to uh, Cleveland, Ohio, then I would just... Uh, I would just uh, use the purple color here and then just paint it in that. I think it's uh, this one right here. So this here tells everyone that uh, the guy in Chicago needs a load, but he wants to go to Cleveland, okay? Um, if not, just leave it uh, blank, I mean uh, white, so that he can go anywhere. So this tells everyone that um, what the situation is with all trucks and let's say let's say this guy's in Detroit and he also needs a load okay so we are all looking for loads and everyone can see this okay let's let's say we find a uh, truck 104 we, we find a load for him and this load will go to Harrisburg Pennsylvania and then what I do here so everyone knows that he's going to Perrysburg I just um, um, put in Harrisburg and then go back to white and change this to orange and let's say this load pays um i don't know seventeen hundred dollars so we just put seventeen hundred and then you can click away somewhere and then what this tells us is uh that this truck 104 is now in harrisburg he's in there on tuesday he needs a load and the load he's doing is paying seventeen hundred dollars and then this uh, at the end of the week, his gross pay automatically changes here. See how it changed? And then the gross pay for all trucks changed here too. So let's say we find him another load that's paying $1,000. And watch this here. As soon as you click away, this goes to 27 and 27. Let's say we got we find a guy uh, load in uh, the guy that's in Chicago. We find him a load for 2000 And then... Uh, this he will change to 2000 that's his gross and the total gross for all trucks will uh, change here so this is really cool uh, uh, you can uh, track the weekly gross here and then weekly total for all trucks and what I like to do uh, is um, I have something here down below that 
every end of the week so let's say uh friday is uh, for this week is uh, 618 so i would put in 618 and that's end of the week and then all my trucks had a total of uh, eighteen thousand six hundred dollars and then i would put gross pay for all the trucks here and then um, it's really nice you can do statistics like this um, i have statistics statistics for last two or three years i think and then i can go for each week i can see how how much money each truck made and uh, how much was the gross and then i can kind of uh, keep track of like our highest paying week our lowest paying week and then compare them and then celebrate if we have a new record uh, or feel really bad if uh, uh, we didn't have a lot of money here <laughs> but anyway um so like i i did this so uh truck 101 and 104 they're owner operators so if you charge them uh 10 or 20 percent uh, dispatch fee then i would end at the end of the week if they made um five thousand seven hundred dollars and i charge them uh ten percent um well let's that would go here so this guy uh, made $6,400 for the whole week and I charge him 10% and this is my um, profit from that truck and then same from truck 104. But let's say uh, truck uh, 103 and um, 101, 103 and 102 are my um, company trucks. So I could put um what can I do 104 change it to 102 so 103 and 102 of my company trucks they made each uh, this much of money and then they use this much of fuel and then I pay the drivers this much money and here on the side I figured out what my weekly expenses are for the loan on the truck 122 for the trailer that he's pulling uh, for the uh, weekly maintenance for the truck and uh, here's the total so let's say the total for this truck is 1100 a week and this truck is 1200 a week so no matter if these trucks work or not i have to pay this much for the maintenance for the loans uh, and insurance too um, so I would go to the gross pay and deduct all these, deduct the fuel, deduct the, let me change this to one or two, deduct the fuel, deduct the driver pay and the uh, weekly maintenance and fuel expenses. And then at the end, I will put that here so let's see, uh, truck 103, I had uh, $2,088 this week for the profit. And I can put that here. I can put all the profits here and then put, put them all together. And this is my net, net pay, net that I uh, acquired from all these trucks for that week. And then also I go a little bit further for my office expenses. I would put the number here that I, you know, you add up all the expenses for the month and then divide them uh, by four weeks or 4.3 uh, because uh, each month has um, about four weeks and two or three days. And then this is my weekly office expenses like uh, rent, um, internet, um, my uh, subscriptions, that kind of stuff. And then I deduct that from the profit here. And then my total profit uh, for that week is here after all the expenses. And then I do it for every week. Every week for the last uh, two or three years I have that. So it's kind of nice to take a look at that. Uh, another thing that this load board can do is uh, you can uh, put in future loads. Let's say you book a couple of loads in advance and you book them, you put them here and uh, all the dispatchers will see uh, the date where, when that load picks up in future from where to where and the rate and then they can plan on those loads and then assign them uh, for the drivers. And then I have driver notes here, like someone needs to go home at a certain time or you know they don't like to do something. 
And then here I have my uh, broker contacts here, um, their names, uh, the company name and the lane that they're running, the rate, the phone extension and everything here. So, so anytime we have a driver in that area, let's say we have a driver in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and then we have loads that go from there, from this broker, every, anyone can go there and look it up and call that broker and um, <clears throat> ask if they have that load. No buy here. I have uh, the brokers that I don't work with here. You know, that's the blacklist. And then the wait list here, if you're a new company and you just started and usually brokers have a wait list of um, a month, three months, six months, a year that they don't want, want to work with you. And then you put here the name of the broker and then how long you have to wait. Uh, so they, so you don't have to, you, you don't call them up and they just keep saying, you no, no, no. Uh, they don't want to work with you until you um, go to certain age of the company. And yeah, you can use this uh, for yourself. And um, there is an email in the description. You can contact me and uh, ask me if you have any questions uh, or any other questions for that matter. And then um, I'll uh, see you around.